Top leader of Laos begins state visit to Vietnam. Prime Minister directs urgent measures to overcome consequences of storms and floods. Russia and Ukraine attack each other's capitals with UAVs. Welcome to today's news. My name is Nguyen Thương and I will be your guide through today's latest update. General Secretary of the Laos People's Revolutionary Party, LPRP Central Committee, and President of Lao Thonglu Sisulit, his spouse, and a high-ranking delegation of the Laos Party and State just arrived in Hanoi on September 10th morning, starting a state visit to Vietnam from September 10 to September 13 at the invitation of General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Central Committee, and President of Vietnam, Tô Lâm, and his spouse. The visit of General Secretary of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party LPRP, Central Committee and President of Lao is a vivid demonstration of the great friendship, special solidarity, and faithful and pure relations between the two parties, states, and people of Vietnam and Lao. The Vietnam-Lao relations are flourishing and have obtained numerous important achievements. The trip is considered one of the significant milestones in the history of the bilateral ties, helping develop the two countries' great friendship, special solidarity, and comprehensive cooperation to a new height in an increasingly effective and practical manner to secure prosperity for people in each country. In response to the severe consequences caused by Storm No. 3 Jagi in the northern provinces and cities, Vietnamese government had decided to allocate 100 billion Vietnam Dong from the central budget reserve in 2024 for five localities to overcome the consequences and stabilize people's life. According to preliminary statistics, the storm and floods have left 146 people dead and missing, 746 and others injured, and more than 47,500 houses damaged. In that context, the government decided to support Nam Din with 20 billion Vietnamese dongs, Thai Binh with 30 billion Vietnamese dongs, Hai Duong with 20 billion Vietnamese dongs, Yen Bai with 20 billion Vietnamese dongs, and Hung Yen with 10 billion Vietnamese dongs. Meanwhile, Quang Ninh and Hai Phong have confirmed that they are currently balancing their own local resources to overcome the consequences of Storm No. 3. Therefore, the central budget will support these two localities if necessary. The Prime Minister Pham Min Chin requested relevant localities to urgently provide people in isolated areas with necessities and clean water. Ruta reported on September 10 that both Russia and Ukraine recently attacked each other's capital with UAVs. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin said Russian emergency services had arrived at the scene of two Ukrainian-launched unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, that were shot down by Russian air defense units over the Domodedovo region near Moscow. However, Sabayanin did not say whether there were any casualties or damage. On the same day, on Telegram, the Kiev military of Ukraine said that in the early morning of September 10, the Ukrainian air defense units participated in repelling a Russian UAV attack on Kiev. Coming up are some updated news. At least 59 people have been killed as a petrol tanker exploded after colliding with a truck carrying passengers and livestock in northern Nigeria, authorities said. Local media showed images of the vehicles on fire and charred bodies. The death toll is expected to rise as rescuers recover more bodies. Nigeria's transport minister said he would step up inspections of roads and vehicles and impose penalties to any operators who fail to comply with safety standards. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development requested provinces such as Quang Nin, Hai Phong, Nam Din, and Tai Bin to quickly implement measures to restore aquaculture production soon after Storm No. 3. The localities are required to carry out the collection and treatment of garbage, waste, and dead aquatic products, according to regulations. The ministry also requested the four localities to focus on monitoring and supervising all environmental impacts in aquaculture areas affected by the storm to promptly convey information, to make recommendations and support fishermen during the aquaculture process.
In addition, the localities are asked to regularly monitor weather developments and provide guidance on measures to prevent and treat diseases in aquatic animals. On the morning of September 10, 100 gay and youths arrived in Haiphong City and immediately coordinated closely with local units to deploy activities to clean up the city after the storm Yagi. Those youth volunteers came from youth unions of Vin City, Gilok, Dean Chow and Hoang Mai Town. The youth volunteers participated in a number of specific tasks such as clearing, cutting fallen tree branches, removing obstacles, restoring traffic, and cleaning the environment at public places such as hospitals and schools. The product consumption market in the last month of the year has shown signs of recovery, despite facing difficulty in raw materials and increasing production costs. Local businesses are now focusing on production flexibility, researching new products and competing to increase the consumption market. The industrial product market in 2024 has been recording positive signals from key manufacturing industries such as cement, electricity, garment, wood processing, stone powder, and beer of all kinds. Those signs are considered as a driving force for growth. As for the Russian and European markets, they have higher requirements. Our factory tries to improve machines, techniques and production process to meet the requirements. Deep processing is our company's target. It will bring sustainable values to domestic companies like us. Along with that, many businesses have been trying to overcome difficulties by carefully investigating the tastes and needs of consumers, thereby offering suitable products, at the same time, applying new business forms to increase product consumption. Strengthening market surveys and assessments helps to develop appropriate policies. We are currently aiming at giving benefits to direct sellers and customers using the products to promote product consumption. Thanks to great efforts of enterprises, sectors and localities, in the first eight months of 2024, the industrial production index of the whole province increased by over 10% over the same period, the export value of goods increased by 26% over the same period. Good signals from the market are becoming the driving force for enterprises to accelerate production to reach the finish line on time. That is the end of today's news. Thank you for watching and see you next time.